Welcome to Next24. Here we are demoing how Gemini can help you with assisted analytics, right? So Gemini has a new feature embedded now called function calling. What that fun what allows you to do is make your SQL developers and the complexity of developing SQL kind of minimize, right? What it also allows you to do is any business users who are not SQL savvy interact with with the backend systems. And the systems could be anything, it could be relational database, analytics database, CRM, Salesforce systems to run and run queries in a non-business fashion, right? That's what it does. So if you look at the challenges that it solves, in the past, when you are dealing with these large language models, oftentimes those models are frozen in time in a point in time. What that does is makes your information outdated, right? So let's say, for example, if you're looking at the currency exchange rate, and if you look at the query that the, the LLM may say, well, I don't have the data as of today, but I can show you something from last year. But that's not what you want. You want real-time exchange rate. So it helps you solve that. It also helps you embed and pull data from multiple sources real-time. So it's not a static data, even though it's grounded to certain data elements, but you can also invoke some exter external API calls to push the data in. And it also gives you a very consistent view of the data as it exists. So in sales order, you need to make sure that the sales order, the sum of the, the sales amount is right on the money, right? So it does that. So what Gemini does is really makes your complex workloads much simpler, right? By providing that automation in the back end. That's what the power of the Gemini is. And it also allows you to do Enable some workflow automation. So if you're in a help desk and you want to kind of have a chatbot-like experience, it gives you that capability as well. So why don't we show you the demo real quick, and Kenny's going to now show you the demo of this product. All right, thank you, Manoj. Now let's just switch. This is the small application we built. This is the Python app. We only have 270 lines of code. You know, you see, here we have a sample prompts. These are unstructured, written in natural language, any of your business analysts or executives can access database without knowing or without any skill of a SQL uh, query language. Let's say pretend, I want to know and in my database, hey, what the percentage of all the return? Okay, I just interrogate my database with that kind of question. The SQL clock with uh, BigQuery that goes on they make it a fun function calling, then retain the result. So the right answer come back and say 9.95% order are returned. How do we get that conclusion? Here's the SQL query we generated. And you see in the whole process, let me show you more details here. You can see this is the function call we make. We listen to the database. Within the database, how many tables we have? Seven tables. Then within the table, say, hey, where is the order? Order is here. So we point to the order table. Then we generate the SQL query. This is SQL query return that is 7%, almost the numbers. All right, let's just see what's the source code behind this. Okay. You see, that's the old 279 of code. In this Python code, we did not tell you, we don't tell you how to write a SQL. All the Gemini Pro model, smart enough, they do automatic translation. They get your natural language question, convert and generate a function code. And based on that function, then we do do loop until we answered, we find the final result for the question you were asked. Let me turn this back to my teammate Manuj, and he can explain the next one. So just to summarize, what we showed you is how an, a, a non-technical user can interface with Gemini, and Gemini will do all the coding on the back end, right? So what it does is, 
as a user, I simply provided a prompt, and it, the prompt will call the right functions, which runs the SQL query against the backend system, right? In this case, we're showing how it's going to pull data from BigQuery, one of Google Analytical Platform, and then it provides, BigQuery provides a response back to the function, and that function then transfers the response back into a human readable natural language and that's what the that's what the user is presented so as you can see you start with a very basic english language the the, the gemini takes care of all the technicalities and then you get the answer back in a plain english there are multiple use cases that gemini can work with we demonstrated one use case but if you have finance systems databases documents right unstructured data you have support systems like chatbot that you want to build. It can allow you to interact with all kinds of systems as long as it has an open API calls that Gemini can make to it. And so as a call to action, you know, we have a lot of stuff going on the next 24. It's a very popular event. We would like to have folks look at this QR code. You can get the source code for this that we demonstrated. You have very good articles published in the blogs that they can read up more about the function calling, which is a new capability launched just two months ago in Gemini. And you can also get some sample code to develop the tools through this URL link as well. You're so thank you so much for your time. Yes. Yeah, you're welcome to play at home. Go for it.